In your opinion, Jill, how do companies leverage their employees to drive positive culture? So the first thing is to really talk about what culture is, right? Culture is something that exists whether people build it or don't build it. I often actually tell my clients that culture exists in the absence of even working on culture. That is in itself a culture. But culture is something that binds people together and helps people work toward a common goal. So companies that focus on culture and spend time thinking about culture, in fact, as a business strategy or companies that are doing the right thing. Culture embodies values, beliefs, norms, the way that companies communicate. Companies that focus on culture are thinking about environment, the way that companies meet, uh, the way that people are rewarded and recognized, the way that managers um, manage people. Culture touches everything. It even touches the way that an office looks or the way that things feel or smell or what you hear in an office. I, I was thinking yesterday I had a meeting in a client office in New York City and I walked in and I immediately got a feeling. I saw people walking around at a certain pace and I saw the office decorated for Halloween and I saw certain things up on a screen and they were talking about special meals and events they had. Immediately, I got a sense of their culture. Companies that are focusing on culture are leveraging their employees to really understand what is important to them. And the first and most important thing these companies are doing is listening. Sounds easy, but it's not easy at all. Uh, listening takes a lot of work because it's an active role. So it is about getting into the organization at multiple levels, truly asking the right questions, finding out what is important to people, and then in fact being willing to put into action things that might be different or meaningful to the people in the organization that will start to enact change to make the place feel different or sound different or actually work in a different way for the people that live there. Um, some of the things that companies do that I think are really impactful are to initiate employee resource groups. Some companies call them ERGs and these can be groups that represent specific groups within organizations. Uh, these are very, very important and they are generally run by employees and I always think that's the best way to go. So employee resource groups, having diverse candidate slates is so important to culture and that's both for internal candidate slates and external candidate slates. That will always impact the culture, making sure that the people being brought in are a diverse group of people that will always keep the keep everything fresh and keep the perspective open to make sure that the culture does not get stale and that new ideas are always surfacing to the top. Um, and a third idea is to keep a pulse on what's happening in the organization. Many organizations use engagement surveys, and I am a fan of engagement surveys, but I'm not a fan of only doing it one time a year. The amount of change that happens inside of an organization in a year's time is unbelievable in today's world. So I am a fan of what many organizations call pulse surveys. And some companies do this every six weeks, every eight weeks, some companies do it formally, other companies do it informally, but pulse surveying is a great way to check in and see what's happening with the organization on a pretty regular basis so that the management team can swoop in, figure out where the hotspots are, and take action against things that aren't helping your culture. 